Welcome everybody to Furry Yoga at Furthermore. <laughs> I am Rift Wing, he, him, and I will be an instructor. I am a certified yoga instructor. I teach down the road if anyone is local. I have business cards in the back, and on the pillar is a QR to Telegram. Furry Yoga is a program run to work for wellness in or out of suit, and it's a great group that is run with Fuzz Buttons in Toronto. So, super cool. I'm so happy to see so many of you here. So today we're going to do intro to yoga, basic yoga, and then we're going to do a little bit of a class. So, who's done yoga before? Okay, about half. That's awesome. So for you, this might be a bit of a review. For the new folks, welcome. This is great. So let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> In furry yoga, listen to your body and your fursuit. And make sure that, that you follow the range of motion. And also, don't do anything that will make you get hurt. So as I go through the rest of the rules, everybody find a nice, easy seat, which is crisscross applesauce. Roll your shoulders back. Start to notice your body and try to breathe into your belly. So maybe put your hand in your belly, diaphragm breathing. So inhale, your belly gets bigger. Exhale, it's going to come in. So keep breathing, just trying to get that breath to slow and calm down. So again, in yoga, you're listening to your body. Try to have fun. This is a place for experimenting, learning, and being able to share with those around you. And another rule in yoga is to make sure to stay hydrated, right? Especially here. There's water right outside if you need it. Uh, again, either don't trip over the floor or go through the back if you need it. And again, afterwards, we'll get some water. Those of you with suits, I'm going to the headless lounge to get my badge. You're welcome to hang out with me after. This will be about a 40-minute class. Not too long. We'll be doing intro to poses, and then we're we'll going to be doing a, a mini class. So, we're noticing our breathing, we're slowing down. I want everyone to take a big inhale, and then exhale, let it go. Another big inhale, exhale, let everything go. Good. I know, I sound evil like a dragon. All right, next we're going to inhale, take our arms up above our head. Exhale, sweep it down behind your back. Inhale, back up. Exhale, down. We're going to do a few of these with your breath. Everything in yoga follows your breath. <sighs> Next time we're up, we're going to do a side bend this way. Good. Keep your hips on the ground. Maybe that other arm comes down to the ground. Maybe it comes to your leg. You want to feel a side stretch here. Breathe into it. Then inhale, back up. Exhale, other side. Breathe into it. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. And start to go at your own pace, back and forth this way. In my classes, I allow noise. If you need to breathe, grunt say anything. It's okay. <laughs> Exhale on lean. The idea here is to not judge, but just have fun. Okay, next time we're up, stay up. Then we're going to twist to the side. Maybe your hand comes to your legs. Maybe you go further. Do what feels right for you. Try to keep a straight spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, maybe twist a little more. You got this. Inhale and exhale. Then inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, twist the other way. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, a little further. Three more breaths. Then inhale, back up. Exhale, sweep your hands down. Put them on your lap or your knees. And we're going to do cat-cat. I'm going to do it seated. Okay. For those of you on the chair, you can do it with me. So cat is where you're arching your back and letting your chest come down. Cow, your chest is opening up, shoulders pull back. You're doing a little bit of a back bend. 
Notice that your hands and arms are moving too, that's fine. So cat is when you're arching your back and e exhaling. Cow is when you're opening your chest doing the back bend. So go at your own pace. Your spine has three planes of movement. We've done twists, we've done sideways, and now we're doing back and forth. We're moving it in all the directions to warm up. Continue to breathe. So we've already gotten into animals in furry yoga. <laughs> I'm going to quiz you at the end, but this is like you don't win or lose, you just get healthy, right? <laughs> All right, after you're done with that, come back to stillness. Now let's do some shoulder rolls. So big shoulder rolls, I like to say four corners, so up, back, down, and forward. Maybe with your breath when it's going up and out when you're going down. And then the other way, so back, up, forward, and down. Beautiful. Keep going. And then notice how that feels. Come back to stillness. We're going to do our head next. So first, slowly, just rock your head from side to side. If there's anywhere that's tight, maybe you just kind of rotate your, your nose around that area. It will change the stretch. And if you have a full neck circle, you can do that. But please be mindful of any aches or pains. Go both directions. Like we could do this for the rest of the class and this is yoga. So at any point, if you feel like this is enough, you can always come back to sitting and breathing or just doing these simple stretches. And I'll show you a couple of rest moves as well. But never feel like you have to stop. You can just modify your practice to what works for you. And that's what yoga is all about. All right, so come back to stillness. Notice how you feel. And we're gonna go into our hands and knees. So again, be mindful if you have any wrist or knee injuries, just be careful. So on hands and knees, I'm going to do it up here, yeah. So your knees are underneath your hips and your hands are underneath your shoulders. We're going to do cat-cow again. <laughs> like, where's the best angle for me to, for everyone to see me? Um, so again, if you're seated, do seated cat-cow. So this time we're going to exhale, arching our back, head comes down. Inhale, your head comes up, chest drops and goes through the, through the arms. I mean, it's not going through the arms, but you know what I'm saying. So exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Notice here, keep a bend in your elbows, especially if you're a hyperextender. You want this to feel good. After you do a couple, maybe you start to introduce movement, maybe looking side to side. Maybe your hips do a little barrel roll. Do a barrel roll, yes. <laughs> Start to wake up your body and feel what feels right for you. I'm seeing some great modifications. <sighs> All right, then come back to stillness. Next, we're going to wake up our hips. So if your wrists are sore, you can make fists and put them down. And we're gonna lift up one leg and start to do hip circles. So you're balancing on your knees, your leg, and your fists or your hands. Go both directions. It should feel like you're waking up that hip. And then drop it down. Take one breath here, get back to centered. Everyone's favorite move, fire hydrant. Lift up. <laughs> Lift it up and then pulse for three, two, one. Great glute exercise here. Then drop it down. One more exercise here. Stepping back into a little lunge. So your leg goes back and you're putting it on your toes. Should feel good. Maybe you rock back and forth on your toes. Breathing. Awesome. I'm going to turn around. You all are just going to come back to tabletop. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the other leg. So first, balancing on your hands and knees, then you're gonna take your foot up and do circles with that hip. Both directions, as big or as small as you want, mind your balance. Then drop it down, breathe for a second. 
spinal hydrant, lift it up and pulse for three, two, one. Drop it down, center and breathe. <sighs> then step it back for a little lunge. Good. Then come back in. Child's pose is next. Mindful of your feetsies. So you're going to take your knees wide, bring your feet together into a diamond, and you're going to drop your tail down, hands stretch out. Head should come down to the floor if you can. Just a forward fold is fine if you're seated. In this pose, you shouldn't feel any strain. It should be a little restful. If you need to modify, you can pull your knees in a little bit, or you can separate your feet. Breathing here. So you can come back to this. This is another rest pose. You can come back to this at any time if you need it. So you're going to plant your hands, tuck your toes, come back into tabletop, and I will show you downward facing dog very precariously. <laughs> so downward facing dog, you're tucking your toes and you're lifting and pushing your hips back into a triangle. Your chest comes down, your head goes down. Try to look at your toes. If you don't have this in your practice, you can keep your knees down. And if you are seated, you can do this on a chair. Pedal your feet if you've got it. Perfect, you know this. And then work on dropping your chest, opening it up so that your back gets flat. Perfect. Bend your knees a little bit too. <laughs> A couple of uh, couple issues. <laughs> this is our downward facing dog. Drop back to your hands and knees. Shake it out. Take any movement you need. <sighs> yeah, tails are a big thing too. <laughs> so next we're going to come into standing. So you're going to walk your feet towards your hands in a way that works for you. And slowly, one vertebrae at a time, come up to standing, roll those shoulders, that's why you come up slowly, listen to your body, inhale, arms come up, this is high mountain, shoulders back and down, maybe you lock those knees, zip up your core, make it really active for three, two, one unzip swan dive without hitting your friends all the way down forward fold here bend your knees a little bit shake your your head back and forth maybe grab your elbows for ragdoll the more you bend your knees the more it lets your lower back go so if your lower back's really tight bend your knees almost your chest is touching your legs shake your tail and it's going to feel amazing I could be here all day too. <laughs> Explore this pose. Maybe you're pedaling your legs back and forth. And then again, slowly, one vertebrae at a time, come back up. Shake it out. All right, next we're gonna do our hip standing. So balance, right? Plant your right foot. Start to lift your left foot, and if this is as far as you can go, you can do a little kickstand. That's good. If you're with me, I'm going to lift up my knee and try to do knee circles here. Your hands can be in prayer. They can be out however you need the balance. And then if you want to do a little challenge, we're going to come up in front and hold, and then do ankle rolls. If you want, you can sit down and do ankle rolls here without that balance problem. Once you've rolled your ankle both ways, we're switching sides. So planting the left foot and either kickstanding or doing full knee circles. Woo, this side is not listening today. Every side is different. Every day is different in yoga. This is why you listen to your body. All right. Then maybe you bring your knee forward. Maybe you do those ankle circles, standing or seated. Seated, oh my gosh. You know what I'm saying. All right, drop those feet. Now we're gonna do a little bit of movement. So for this, we're gonna inhale, arms up. Exhale, we're gonna squat almost into a ball. Go as low as comfortable. Maybe your feet come wide, then come back up. And we're gonna do these a couple times. 
If this is easy for you and you want challenge, try to do it on one foot. Right? <laughs> You're like, nope. If this is still easy, try to take it so up, foot goes forward, down, foot comes back without ever touching the ground. Everyone has their own variation. Take it. All right, switch. So shake it out before you go to the other side. <laughs> Again, the idea is have fun, listen to your body. All right, other side. So first inhale up, exhale down. Then maybe you switch to that other standing foot or just keep doing it with both feet, no problem. See if you can do that crane, karate kick. Whoa. The dragon in flight, love it. Okay, come back down. How are we feeling? Tired, yeah. <laughs> now is a good time for a water break if you have that or a stretch break. I'm going to check the time. Be right back. All right, we are halfway through the class. Again, for those of you that came late, there's a telegram QR on the column, business cards on the table. I teach 10 minutes down the road if you want to join me in your local. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody back to positions. If you're ready, if not, keep taking a break. <coughs> okay, so those were some intro yoga poses. We're gonna put it all together now into what's called a flow uh, or a vinyasa. So vinyasa, uh, a lot of words in yoga are Sanskrit or Sanskrit, and that is because yoga has been practiced for thousands of years. It's only come to the US in 1970s. So it's very young. And then the stuff that you see normally is like the high fashion, look at me, I'm a pretzel. And you're like, no. Yoga is meant to have multiple parts, some of which are breathing, meditation, respect for others, respect for yourself, listening to your body, and breathing, and also trying to find enlightenment. So there's a ton more to learn but we're just doing the asanas, the movement part, and a little of the pranayama, the breathing. So we're gonna put it together in vinyasa or a flow. So we're gonna start, yeah, we're all standing, right? Inhale, arms up, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift so your hands are on your shins and you're trying to balance a tray on your back. Shoulders come back as well. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands. Step back to hands and knees. Maybe you go up to downward facing dog. And downward facing dog, tuck your toes. Hips come up, chest goes down, look towards your toes. Then step your feet to your hands. Forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, fold. We're gonna add on this time. Plant your hands. Maybe you step back into a push-up or a, with your knees down push-up. Then push up down, all the way to the ground and stay there. Then inhale, plant your hands, do a baby back bend with your elbows in. Good. And then you're gonna go down again and then you're gonna try to push up into tabletop or down dog. I'm gonna cue. Keep doing it. So walk forward, forward fold. You want to try? Okay. Exhale, uh, inhale all the way up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step back. P push up. <laughs> or do a real push up. Then lower yourself down to the ground. Inhale, baby back bend. This is Cobra, another animal. Exhale, come back down, then tuck your toes. This time go to child's pose. So knees are wide, feet are together, your butt goes back towards your feet, hands are out, or if your shoulders are tired, maybe try to grab your toes. That was it. That was a sun salutation. This is a common flow in yoga. So that is all of the typical yoga we're going to do in this class. We're going to have some fun next where you do Simon Says with me. <laughs> and then we're going to cool down and take a nap. How's that sound? Yeah. All right. 
So Simon says, uh, y'all can come up to seated. Again, for this practice, if you just want to sit and breathe, you're cool. You do not have to copy me. So who's heard of a yoga pose you want me to do? Pigeon. Pigeon. Yes. OK, pigeon. Um, I will show you two options for pigeon. Number one is figure four, where you lay on your back. Yeah, stay seated and just watch me first. Um, you lay on your back with your knees up, and then you take one leg and cross it over. If you're seated, just cross one leg over. This is figure four. It's a hip opener. Real pigeon, <laughs> from downward facing dog, you have your legs nice and loose, and you take your knee towards your hand, cross your leg over the front, kick back. This is high pigeon, and this is sleeping swan, and it's big on your hips. <laughs> and if you do one side, do the other. So take a moment, see if you just want to lay back and do a figure four. Wave at me if you want help. Do both sides. Wait. Uh, you've got your leg crossed like this. So yeah, your foot should be somewhere in the middle, so your knee is more towards your wrist. And it should feel good. So you can move your foot to where it feels OK on your knee. And then take that back leg and push it back. There you go. How's that feel? Good. It's a big stretch. Even more animals. <laughs> Even more animals, yes. You're going to try to find your way out of it, do some stretches, and then we're going to go to the other side. There is a breakdance way to get out of it. You can, from pigeon, lift up your chest and then swing your feet in front of you and just switch right into the other one. Good luck. <laughs> I'll come by if you want to wave at me. But find the other side with the other knee in front. Listen to your body and the, the room. <laughs>
So Are you feeling this in your hips? You should feel it in your hips, your shoulders, and a little bit in, in your, yeah, everything, right? <laughs> in, in your thighs. All right, open up into warrior two. Again, hands parallel with the ground. You're looking over the front hand. Knee is still bent. Good. Breathe. <sighs> Pretend you're surfing Pikachu. <laughs> and then we're going to come back up to warrior one, rotating those hips. Plant that front foot, try to come forward to warrior three. Whoa. Maybe you have a bend in that standing knee will help. Maybe it'll make it harder. And then come back down, shake it out. <laughs> yes, listen to your suit. <laughs> Good. So having a heavy head will change your balance. Surprise. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do tree. Tree is easier than warrior three in my opinion, but maybe it's harder for some of you. Everybody is different. So plant your weight in your right foot. We've done this before. Kickstand that foot. And then you have the option to take your foot to your lower leg, the calf, or the upper leg, but never on your knee. And keep a bend in the standing knee. Not a big bend, but a baby bend. Maybe your hands going to burr. For full tree, it's just more challenging on the balance, your hands come out like a tree. <laughs> Here we go. Don't look at something that's moving. Look at the ground. <laughs> All right, exhale, come down. Shake out that standing foot. And we'll go to the other side. So plant the other foot, maybe kickstand, maybe low leg, maybe high leg, but not on the knee. Find your tree. Remember, each side is different. And then find your way back out. We're going to inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Pedal those legs. Shake your head. Let it all go. We are time for cool down. So, we're going to find our way to the ground. If you want to go with me, let's do a squat. Legs are a little wider. Hands come up. Really listen to your britches here. Lower down. Hands come together. <laughs> Just find your way to the ground if you can't do it. <laughs> and so your, knee, your elbows are trying to hold your knees open. Maybe your heels are up. Maybe your heels are down. And then just find your way down. Whew. Take your legs out in front of you. Let's do another windshield wiper here. So bend your knees, flip-flop those knees. <laughs> Don't worry, nap time is next. We're cooling down. <laughs> All right, so take your feet out in front of you. We're going to do a forward fold, but keep your spine straight to start. Here's my tail. Okay. Arms come up. Exhale, fold with a straight back. Your hands can grab anywhere, your feet, your shins, it doesn't matter. Then maybe you bend that back, let your neck go. Shake it from side to side. Come back to your breathing. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, maybe go a little bit more. Good job, everybody. And then slowly come back up. And we're going to go all the way down and back, so just don't tickle somebody's toes behind you. Woo! <laughs> ah. And then take your hands to your sides. Bring your knees up. Your feet should almost have your heels brushing your butt, if you can. Again, mindful of your costume and your body. Ah. Then pull your knees in. Give them a hug. Maybe you rock from side to side. Good job. Then come to stillness. Maybe, if you want to do a twist, put your hands out to a T without hitting anyone or anything, and then drop both knees to the right. If it feels good. You're doing a side twist, keep the shoulders down. If you need to straighten your legs, you can do that. Do what feels good for a spinal twist just like we did at the beginning. Breathe into it. Maybe you look the opposite direction of your knees. Then inhale, knees come back up to center. 
Give them a hug. Exhale, they drop the other side. Keeping your shoulders down, doing what feels good for a spinal twist. Breathe into it. Inhale, knees come back up. Give them one more hug. Then plant your feet back towards your butt. Hands come down so they're almost tickling your heels. So your knees are up towards the ceiling. Your heels are towards your butt. Your hands are almost tickling those heels. We're going to do a little uh, back bend. So you're going to plant your hands Plant your feet, plant your shoulders, plant your head, and just lift the pelvis a little bit. This is bridge pose. Breathe into it. Keep the knees from falling up, uh, out. They should be parallel. For three, two, one, and down. Good job. You've got about 30 seconds to shake it out. Do any other stretches that you want. If you're ready, we're going to go to nap time. Savasana, so you're laying back. Your hands are out and down, but in a place that feels good. Your feet are stretched out in front of you. And I'm going to do a bit of a guided meditation to help us cool down. <sighs> so first, come back to your breath. Notice how different you feel after about 40 minutes of exercise. You did great. Notice the rise and fall of your chest. How when the inhale, your back presses into the mat. On the exhale, folding in. Release the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Release your jaw. Release that little spot in between your eyes and your forehead. <laughs> Find a way to imagine it happening. Breathe into any areas that are tight or sore. Allow your body to fully relax. Focus on your feet and toes. Give your toes a wiggle. Give those ankles a roll. Oh, I love cracking and popping. They say that's applause for yoga teachers. OK, bring those to stillness. Maybe you're tightening your calves and your kneecaps and your thighs. Just squeeze them in for a little bit, engaging those muscles, and then let it go. Your feet and your legs should be completely relaxed. If there's any other tightness, breathe into it. Inhaling peace, exhaling any tightness. Notice your hips on the ground. Maybe you need to adjust your tail or the flesh of your behind to allow yourself to fully settle into the ground. Do what feels comfortable. Allow your hips to completely relax. Again, notice on the inhale how your back is touching the mat, becoming fully grounded. Allow your back to fully relax. Notice your shoulders, where they touch the ground. Maybe you can roll them back just a little bit so you're nice and tucked in. Allow your shoulders to completely relax. And then come down to your fingers. Wiggle those fingers one more time. Give those wrists a roll. Beautiful, both ways. And then let them settle back down. And notice the parts of your wrists, the lower arms, the elbow, the upper arms, where they're all touching the ground. Take your hands into fists. Tighten your arms. Tighten your toes. Tighten your legs. Tighten your whole lower body for three. Two, one, let it go. Your whole body should be fully relaxed. Now think about your neck. Maybe you need to do one more head side to side. Releasing that neck. Again, come back to the jaw. Make sure the jaw is still relaxed. Allow your face to completely relax. Eyes are closed. Notice the back of your head where your head touches the ground. On each inhale, notice your whole body pressing into the earth. And each exhale, letting go of any tension that's left. Your whole body now should be 
completely relaxed. Now imagine that there is a white light that shines coming from your toes, up your legs, up your torso. I'm going to be dimming the lights. Allow that light to go all the way up through your body and out the crown, the top of your head. Allow your whole body to completely relax. I'm going to give you 30 seconds of silence and I will call you out after. Use this time to connect with your body and thank yourself for sharing this practice. Come back to your breath, making big inhales and exhales, letting that belly rise and fall, knowing that you can come back to this at any time. If you want to stay here and nap for a little bit, we do have more time in the room. And if you're with me, you're going to start to wiggle your fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. And without hitting the people around you, maybe you come into a full body stretch. And wherever you are, if it's comfortable, we're going to roll over to one side, curled up in a little ball. So Savasana is corpse pose. It's death. This is fetal pose or rebirth. And then we're going to go back into the convention and life after this yoga class. So take this time to thank yourself for having this practice. Maybe commit, make a promise to yourself. Thank yourself and thank your body for being here just as much as I thank you for taking time out of a very busy con to find wellness and health. That's what furry yoga is all about. And when you're ready, we're going to come back up to seated, crisscross applesauce. Roll those shoulders back. And we're going to close with a communal breath. So inhale, arms come up, hands together. Dropping hands down to heart center. Exhale. Then inhale in again. Exhale, let it all go. Bring your hands up to your thumbs or on your forehead. And this is a sign of thanks. In the words of the yogis, namaste, which means I see you and I thank you for being here today. Thank you for joining me for furry yoga.